go. All right, class. The first thing that you have to do is unpack your cheese. It's like this. Unpack your cheese in your bowl. Cause anybody see? Everybody see? Okay. You unpack your cheese. You'll need per pie. You need two of these. And you want it to be soft so it's easier to mix. Okay, per pie you need you need two um two eggs per pie. me the sugar on that count on that um. the sugar is at the very bottom and a fourth cup of butter thank you you're in it anyway um you need a fourth cup of butter in each cake in each pie Matthew, I don't want to get too far out. Okay. Um, then you need one cup of sugar per pie. So when you mix your pies together, everybody will mix four or five people will mix pies together. You're going to mix five cups of sugar versus just the one. Okay. Everybody got that? So you need one cup of sugar. You want one, one tablespoon of vanilla. Okay. It calls for... Um, um, a half a tablespoon, but one tablespoon makes it a little bit sweeter and gives, gives it a different taste, okay? I want to put a little bit more in there so bad, okay. Then you mix it. And remember how we mix the cake? We mix the cake on high. I think I have a done cheesecake. All right, um, once it gets done, you want to put it on top of your pie. Uh, now, you just dump it on top, you're filling on top. And it adds that extra sweet flavor to it. I like a lot of vanilla in mine because I know a lot of people don't like the taste of cheesecake. But this makes it nice. It stays in the refrigerator for two hours. That's why we're not doing ours today. But when you come back tomorrow, your cheesecake will be done. You put the top on it, um, shut it down like this, and then put it in the refrigerator. Are there any